Last time on Who Would Win. This is a boss for you. So he got it captured by one of his hands. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, and then he comes up. He's got this big neck. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's kind of terrifying, this actually. This is actually kind of a terrifying boss. His name is Dead Hand. Yeah. And so he doesn't have hands. You see his, his like, nubs for his arms? Yeah. And those are his hands that are coming out. And he's got this big jaw. He tries to bite you. Oh, wow. Yeah, this thing's... This thing's... Yeah, this is, like, straight up some Tim Burton shit. I'm telling you what. Like, Shadow Temple doesn't mess around. This is, like, part of the Shadow Temple arc. Okay. Yeah. Welcome back, everyone. We're going to cross this brand new spanking bridge. Look at oh, this. Oh, it's repaired because you that. made the builders uh, uh, come out. Yep. I got them back from their their heathenry with the thief gals or something. Yeah. Were they doing They were doing the, 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 the dirty dirty? They were. They, were, they wanted to. Well, they wanted to, and then they were like, hell no. We're going to use you as our... Sex slaves. I guess something. that's why they were in cages. I think so, man. <laughs> Ready to eat for everyone. <laughs> Ready to eat for everyone. So, all right. So, I uh, from last episode, we got the lens of truth. I did all this stuff so I can walk around freely. And now we're gonna wander the desert, like nice, um, like some Jewish people in the Bible. Wait, is this where you fight the sandworms? Uh, kind of. Yeah, it's not like Dune. So, there's actually a way to cheese this. Is this the boss fight where you get, where you get big? Uh, no, or that's that, Majora's Mask. That is Majora. Yeah. So you see this over here? There's actually a way to run backwards and cheese this. I'm going to try. We'll see what happens. Nope. Sounds like you're dying. That's all right. You can do that like if you don't want to play the game. <laughs> <laughs> but okay. otherwise, if you just play through the game, you get the long shot, and then you can cross over this with the long shot. Gotcha. Yeah. So I have the long shot so I can just cross this. Got it. Uh, okay. And then we have to follow the flags, which is really hard to see. There's actually, the, this is kind of cool. There's a shop over here. Oh, really? Secret yeah, shop? and check that. It's a shop on a magic carpet, dude. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Look at this hippie. <laughs> hey, what's up, man? <laughs> Welcome. Welcome. I'm selling some stuff, strange and rare, from all over the world to everybody. Today's special is... A dangerous running object. Terrifying. I won't tell you what it is until you see the money. How about it? 200 rupees? You nope. want it? Oh, okay, well, that's too bad, he man. He sells bomb chew. Oh, yeah. Those are the things that, like... Running bombs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But it's kind of cool. I, can you can you just get bomb chew somewhere else, or is this the only way only way you can get No, them? you just get them. He's, he's a total scammer. Oh, got it, got it. But, you know, business is rough. He's the only one out here in this desert. I mean, yeah, he's this... the only one in the desert. Yeah. Who else is going to, you know, brave these brave Harsh these elements these just to sell his damn bomb chew? Yeah. Bomb chew kind of sounds like... Uh, God bless you. Not even that. It made me... Th it, I don't know why it, it's making me think of, I guess, chew. It just makes... it Like, it's, it's some kind of tobacco product. <laughs> Dude, that's some bomb chew. I got some of that bomb chew, though. All right, we should be nearing the end of this. Sometimes it's tough. On last week's episode, we were talking about how Matt has seen the new uh, The Batman, the Robert Pattinson one. And oh, I went backwards. Oh, jeez. I don't want the carpet merchant. Yeah, so Batman. So you were talking about Batman, okay? Yep. I haven't seen the movie. But one thing that I can tell you that I'm not a fan of is the suit. Yeah, because it looks like he's wearing hockey pads. It's just, yeah, it like, it's, and I'm okay with kind of the, like, you know, he's still a rookie, I guess, in terms of, you know, being the Batman. The uh, Batman. So his, you know, he's a little more rough and tumble and, you know, his his equipment. But I guess that's the other thing that, you know, that's what I like about the Nolan movies is they explain how he, you know, made his suit and it's all like, you know, reject stuff from Wayne Enterprises and like their It was meant for department. military, yeah. Yeah, like that's really good and I like that practicality of it. Mm -hmm. But the suit the suit looks both intentional but also still like 
Yeah, he definitely like it's a hodgepodge of of these you know military technologies or whatever. Yeah. Okay. So uh, we don't need versus you know versus the the very you know this is just a comic book thing of the Tim Burton and Joel Schumacher Batman's where like they just have rubber latex suits. Yeah. You know, like there's no there's really no reason behind them other than this is what the the comic books look like, so we have to explain this somehow. Right. Um So I I like that that practicality of there the Nolan. There was a bigger movies. element of realism in the Nolan films. Do they so yeah, do they like explain the bat suit at all in the Battenson movie? No, or are it, they just like it's it's just accepted that, that he he just made the suit. Yes, it's just accepted that he made the suit. He's brand new, he's two years into it, he just made the suit. He takes the suit around with him um in his backpack. He doesn't even like go anywhere uh, as um, as Batman like in the Batmobile. Batmobile doesn't come out until later because he's working on it for like half the film. Yeah. Um, I gotta follow this guy around. Gotcha. And then um, and yeah the suit is like yeah this is the Bat suit and you just have to accept that you know like Nolan put constraints on the suit. Like he asked him well it Sorry, I got I got a little bit of uh, under <laughs> underdog pale ale. <laughs> it's coming up. Choking up. I'm choking my own spit. <laughs> um, yeah. So there, there's a guy. There's a worm. There's a guy. But you're talking about twin um, twin mold. Um, you're talking about the boss from um, from uh, shit. Uh, Majora. Ah, oh, damn it! I have to go back. Yeah, you got me. You got me monologuing. <laughs> So you crafty bastard! I gotta do this again. This is gonna be most of the episode now. All right. Well, that's fine. Hopefully, I started the timer this time. You I started did. the timer. I did. Um, yeah, it's, you're just supposed to accept that. Okay, that's the bat suit, and he doesn't like wear it all the time, except when he like goes somewhere off of his motorcycle, and then, sure. and then he puts. Yeah, it it's on. not like Spider Man, where it's like you know you got tight latex and you just right. wear it underneath everything. It's like it's like a suit of armor, but then also because no one put constraints on the suit. When Bruce Wayne, um, Christian Bale asks him, uh, like, is it bulletproof? Um, no, not a direct shot, but it'll stop a knife. You right. know, there's this element of risk. You know, most of Batman in this in this iteration, it's just like he wears a suit and yeah, people try shooting him and they it doesn't really like leave a mark. Yeah. So there's there's very little risk involved. You just are thinking like, yeah, he's Batman, he's kind of a badass, and uh, I guess he'll yeah, he can you can take a shot. He's all right. Yeah, he's, he's getting up. Oh, that one kind of hurt him a little bit, but he'll be all right. Oh God, that hurt a little, but I'm all right. <laughs> so I don't like that. All of a sudden, he's bulletproof, unless the plot doesn't want him to be bulletproof. Yeah, I think even in the even in the Burton movies, like he gets shot. Yeah, and unless he deflects it with his gauntlets, if he gets shot, he still goes down. Yeah, and like. You know, it's it's it and that does happen. Like even though even though the suit is bulletproof, like he still gets like, you know, gets roughed up. Okay, okay. All right, now I do need to. Oh, come on, come on. Come on. Yeah, that's where I need to go. I guess I I guess I turned a little bit one too soon. Sensitive. Too sensitive. Yeah, it's sensitive over here. All right, uh, this is good. This is what we need. Nice. Yeah, so you know, it, there's there's elements like that that just don't feel like like this could have been thought through maybe a little bit more. Yeah, but the the Riddler aspect was pretty good. Um, Catwoman was great. The um, crime bosses were good. I don't exactly know why they had Colin Farrell cast for uh, Oswald Cobblepot, the Penguin. Yeah, because like they could have just gotten I don't know not a handsome person and made in 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 just gotten an ugly guy to play him and not taken, you know, a guy as good looking as... Well, that's acting, man. Yeah. Hey, act ugly. Yeah. Oh, come on. Come on, man. You gotta get come close. On. You gotta get close to that crack. Dude, you're telling me. <laughs> hey. Uh -huh. There you go. You're gonna love this part. Yeah, am I? Yeah, dude. What's your favorite part? <laughs> oh, yeah! Oh. It's my girl. <laughs> this is my girl. What's she doing? She's taking a bath, dude. Come on, man. We're gonna get some love. <laughs> oh, give me some of that love. <laughs> <laughs> God. That oh, cackle. girl, what are you doing? She knows exactly what she's doing. <laughs> <laughs> Every time, man. Every time. Every time. 
do? I am the great fairy of magic. I'll give you a magic spell. Please take it. Take it, Stu. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dude. <laughs> <laughs> Ready for everyone. <laughs> Pull my hair, Stu. I mean, uh, here's your magic <laughs> spell, Stu. So this is the one that makes you invincible during the duration of your magic power. Nice. Yeah. Love that. I don't really need it. Yeah. I don't really use it because you're so because you're so boss. So good. You're so good. All right. Another chore done. Love that. Love that. Okay, so. Yeah, the suit. I don't love the suit. No. Uh, and so, the, yeah, the gauntlets are, are, they're okay. I I think if the rest of the suit was, like, was emulating the gauntlets a little bit more, and I kind of, so I like the idea of, like, the, the bat symbol is made out of the gun that killed his parents or whatever, right? Oh, it is? Yeah. Yeah, see, they didn't explain that. Well, I never got that. Yeah, they, 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 when they were doing, like, promos and stuff for it, or teasers and stuff like that. Because that's also what he uses as his battering. The gun that killed his parents? Well, it's it's his logo. Oh, it's, it's the logo. logo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I guess they... So he took the gun that killed his parents and made a battering around and that's what he wears on his chest. Yeah. Okay. Right. So that's... that's right. I like that. That's kind of a cool little thing. Yeah, but have more than one battering. Yeah, true. Make some, make some spares. But then... The thing that really bothers me is just the cowl. Yeah. The Yeah, the... The way the mouth opening is recessed so far back. Oh, yeah. It's, I don't know, man. It's kind of weird. And I'm sure there's versions of it out there that make it look better. Uh, but it, it's just weird to me. Yeah. Uh, it's just not my cup of tea. Yeah, I get that. And I get it, too, because, like, so I'm, I'm probably in the minority of saying this. I actually like the Batman Begins bat suit better than the Dark Knight and Dark Knight Rises one. I do. Yeah, I thought that the, the neck isolated the, the head too much. I know that, that supposedly he can turn his head. Yeah, he's got more mobility, which, and yeah, like totally great logic because that was like one of the goofiest, like in retrospect, one of the goofiest things about 89. The Well, all, all of them. All four of those? The, yeah, the 89 uh, Batman Returns forever and <laughs> they all turn with their shoulders yeah they have to do this yeah like the best the best one is the meme in from batman forever where uh val kilmer turns his head and gives the thumbs up but he he has to do this his whole turn. shoulder yeah he's he, like he yes. has to completely turn wide to make that work yeah. Oh, yeah keaton actually did a better job i think than the other two of fully putting his body into it when he like was fighting and stuff mm -hmm. he did a he like it was a lot more seamless yeah but there's still moments i think more so in returns than in 89 where it's really obvious that he cannot turn his neck yeah you know yeah and as a kid i didn't you know i you didn't don't i didn't think i didn't you know bat an eye at it but it's nowadays like, oh, now that we have memes you can't escape it yeah but, forever in infamy. Yeah, as, as I, meme. But I do love. I like the 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 thick full cowl of Super the Begins Batman suit. Thick. But it, I but thought overall, that was a great design. Yeah. Yeah. Overall, I I do like the idea of the make it a little more tactical. Yeah. The the one with the neck mobility. Yeah. We're getting small again. Getting, getting going to be small. But yeah, something about this one. And like, does this one have? Oh yeah, it does because now the cape is like, isn't it kind of like a? It's almost like a collar. I think so. Yeah. It's a little yeah, so it's separate. But and I think they were together. trying to go back to the whole um, world's greatest detective type thing. Yes, they were. Yeah, um, they were. Yeah, I'll go back here. Um, do one other thing before I do this, but we'll get there. Or after, or something. You'll, you'll see. Okay. You'll, you'll get there. Yeah, just tell me. I actually really like the desert sequence of, like, this is probably my favorite temple because there's two sections, and, oh, you get to meet this. This is the best Zelda song. Yes. Yeah, that's a, that's mutually agreed upon uh, across the... Uh, across all the 
<laughs> you get to meet the best character right here. I mean, aside from the Great Fairy. Yeah. And get ready for it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, is that, do you want? is that the one that gave you the pass no. in the future or no? Uh, the one that gives you, gives you the past in the future is her second in command. This is uh, Niboru, okay. who is technically second in command after Ganondorf, but she oh, okay. uh, is kind of a Ganondorf rebel. She doesn't like the... Because technically Ganondorf is the king of the thieves. Right. Um, oh, Aladdin and the king of thieves. Yeah, yeah kind of, you know, <laughs> dude, crossover. <laughs> yes. But she's, she's like, yeah, Ganondorf, like, kills... And um, actually, she explains it. We'll just we'll just hear it from her. Yeah, sure, that's fine. You're just a kid. Still, there's no place for kids. Okay, all right. Oh, all right. Uh, maybe I have to actually looking for the sages. Nothing really. Oh, what good timing! Do me a favor, kid. You wouldn't happen to be the one, one of Gandorf's followers. <laughs> what if I am? <laughs> I hate Ganondorf. You got some nuts, kid. <laughs> <laughs> you got nuts, kid. You got some big old nuts. Naboru. Lone wolf thief. I just fucking Don't get me tongue. wrong. God damn it. Though we're both thieves, I'm completely different from Ganondorf. With his followers, he stole from women and children. Bastard. Oh, he shit. He even killed people. He stole fizzy lifting drinks. <laughs> <laughs> Electra heavies. Oh, <laughs> yes. Yeah, so she's like, she doesn't like him. Yeah. Well, I mean, fuck him, right? Yeah. Stu. Stu. What kind of a name is that? Yeah. Well, anyway. Sounds more like a thick soup. Than a name. <laughs> <laughs> you got to go through this tiny hole. Oh, I'm going through it. You're not squeezing me through that tiny hole. Oh, silver gauntlets? Hell yeah, dude. Don't even think about taking this for yourself. They won't fit a little kid like you, even if you try to equip them. So you can see how, like, the game is kind of baiting you. So do you get to hold on to them until you're an adult, or, like, oh. later you get them as an adult? No, nope, you hold on to them. Nice, okay. Yeah. Oh, sneak deep into this temple. Oh, just do some deep sneaking. God, I'm going to get so wow. deep. There's a lot of dialogue. It was. It's all right. We, we got through it together. It's fine. We're still in good shape. Yeah. All right. So now, like, he kind of hatched a plan with her, and she's like, yeah, get the silver gauntlets, give them to me, and then I'll, like, fight Ganondorf. It's a good plan. Okay. So I love this because there's really, like, there's two towers in this. Um, oh, like Lord of the Rings? Yeah, kind of like Lord of the Rings. There's two. Um, you, you can go up that corridor You just Yeah, you kid. crawl backwards. Otherwise, there's this huge rock in the way of that one that obviously you can't move because it's huge. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So now we're going to go through here and do the children's part. Come on. And let's see what dangers await. Oh. You're about to get fucked. <laughs> yeah, but I want this shield. I don't want to lose my shield. Haha, -ha, bitch. Nice. So wait, if they burn you once, you lose your shield? Yeah, if you uh, if you get because your shield is wood. Well, yeah, I get that. And how about this guy? Is this guy real or fake? Uh, give it a shot. We'll see. Oh. Uh oh. Yeah, I should have hit it. Should have hit it early. Ah, it's all right. He got it. He got me. He got me. There you go. There it is. You done did it, kid. Yeah. There it is. There you go. Oh, nope. oh now you're just getting sliced. <laughs> Sliziced. So I could <clears> go <throat> that way. I want to go this way first. And get a couple of these. Hmm, okay, I got to go around uh, this way first. So in terms of your favorite Batman suits, how would you rank them? Batman and Robin with the bat nipples is number one. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. Um, let's see. I would say... 
Adam West pajamas number two. Yep, easy, easy. I would say because it's so iconic. Oh, hold on, I don't know. Um, bet. Fuck that guy. All right. Yeah, he did. Yep. He protect and he die. <laughs> is is dead. I love when people put turn Pepsi upside down. Is dead. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of my favorites. Oh, I got him. Dude, I wanted to hit the... I wanted to hit the thing. Well, you, you got it. Am I going to have to continue on the next? You might have to continue on the next one. Can you hit it, though? There oh, it there is. you go. There it is. Boom. All right. Well, as I finish this one up... Yeah. Let's see. If I'm being honest with myself, I do really like Batman Begins. I think also because of the construction element of it. Uh, I like that. Um... If I'm thinking more in depth, uh, I really like 89 because it's iconic. Yeah, you know, it's like got the whole, style. The yellow in the emblem, the the like the black leather and the yellow belt. Michelle Pfeiffer was into it, so am I. Oh uh, yeah, dude. <laughs> black rubber. <laughs> um, let's see. Yeah, like it's it's like begins Dark Knight 89, and then. I don't really care about the other ones. Yeah, the other ones aren't like, you know, when they when they dive when when Nolan dives into Batman Begins, it's all like yeah. stealth. You need to, you know, I'm gonna teach you. You know how to fight a dozen men. I'll teach you how to engage 100. Sure. You know, like there's this element of of him how to be a badass. And then Joel Schumacher, it's like, I don't know, should we put some like fucking neon in it? Yeah, let's let's do that. Batmobile, like let's 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 make the bat wings split apart and then have the whole like shit glow. So he's really, so he's really noticeable on the street. Well, yeah, dude, you gotta you gotta know when Batman's coming, right? Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Yeah. Um, so. we'll talk about this more on the next episode because I I have some some thoughts some to thoughts. share. Some thoughts. Because I like I like talking about Batman, even though I'm not. I feel like, I guess, a little bit of a hollow critic because I don't have... It's not even... I'm not critiquing. I'm just telling you, like, what I like and what I just don't... I can't get into for whatever reason. Yeah. Um, Because, again, I've only read, like, maybe a handful of the comics, but I'm not, like, fully ingrained in the, like, continuity and, like, the long-term stories and stuff like that. But I grew up watching like the animated series and animated series. all of the movies, like any any medium, like action figures, like I was so fucking into that shit, man. So, yeah, Batman and Spider Man are my are my two superheroes. Yeah, like I really, really am not super into most comic book franchises, especially nowadays. But even back in the day, like it was Batman, Spider Man. A little bit of X Men because of the '90s television show. No, oh, for sure. That one was dope. Yeah, like well, everybody loves Wolverine, Dad right? Rouge, though. Oh, Rouge, yes. Not movie Rouge, though. No. Like she, they, they took away. Like I love when she's all like, "Come here, sugar." <laughs> <laughs> she's so sassy. Yeah, she's like, like the Southern Belle. Come here, sugar. <laughs> Come here, sugar. I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat the shit out of you, sugar. <laughs> and then like fucking Gambit. Yeah. Like the Cajun just. <laughs> Mon ami. Mon ami. <laughs> Mon ami. <laughs> oh, dude, yes. Yeah, that that was good stuff. But like Get I've, I've here, never bubba. cared about Fantastic Four or no. Hulk or Iron Man or I don't know, what's another Superman. I've never never cared for other than those uh uh crossovers. We, talk, we talked about this. No, we talked about this on the uh Sonic Adventure, the the Max Fleischer, those like 50s cartoons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like those are purely because of the animation. Like mm -hmm. those are fucking beautiful. Yeah. And Superman doesn't even fly. Really? Yeah. Original just, Superman doesn't fly. He just jumps really tall. Oh. Like we're really high. Wow. Yeah. Like the Hulk. Yeah. Yeah, yeah more or less. Uh so let's talk let's talk more about Batman on the next episode and we're going to find out who would win. Some video game boy or one not quite comic book boy? We'll see you then. We'll see you.